Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm back this week for another teaching tips. And um, as you can hear from my voice, I and I wasn't here last week, and the big C, COVID, finally caught up with me. And I'm managing to sing a very good bass line at the moment, but feeling okay and much better. Thank you. So today, um, it's the last one before we have a couple of weeks off for Easter. And I've been inspired today um, to share something with you a little bit about improvisation. Now, I believe that improvisation is a really crucial um, tool that we should have as teachers. And I know that lots of us are very um, reluctant to improvise. We're not very confident, let's say that, anyhow. And I was inspired by one of our curious members yesterday um, who has who, who did an MA actually and in instrumental teaching and her dissertation was all about improvisation and she's very passionate about it. And really her main message, and thank you Kate for inspiring me to do this teaching tip today, her main message was that we need to include improvisation. Yes, absolutely we do on a regular basis. By that we mean in every single lesson. And to do this, we need to start small, we need to start simply, but whatever we do, we need to start. And I absolutely back that up because um, improvisation connects parts of the brain that just reading notation just doesn't do. Reading notation doesn't activate the ear in the same way that improvisation does. And improvisation should be part of our regular toolkit and teaching. So it linked back, though, to me for um, to one thing that I've been doing with several students recently connected with a piece called The Shepherd's Flute. And it's, it's back in the uh, journey through the classics. And if you listen to this piece, just have a little listen. left hand that's all it does is it's it's a drone basically that goes on and of course that provides a really really great backdrop to an improvisation so what I've been doing with my students and I'm still te I'm I am just teaching online at the moment is that I will will all set up the drone so that we've all got it going like that and then I might do the first phrase set of notes and then they will answer now it depends on the student how confident they are doing that one was very confident and suddenly you know then just went off and took it all away by himself another one was less confident and had to be really encouraged just to play on one note until you feel the music really needs to move you somewhere. But it's things like this, really small with a drone in the back in, in the background that just goes on and of course the drone could be in your right hand as well that gives a little bit of substance to an improvisation and it gives the framework around which you can then make things up. So, as I was saying before, um, start simply, yeah? Start small with just little ideas from pieces like that, but whatever you do, get started. Now, Kate is so uh, committed to actually helping teachers get started. She has actually set up a little improvisation challenge and that is currently running as a Facebook group. If you're interested, let me know, just pop a, uh, a comment in the chat down below you know I'm interested in getting started with my improvisation and I'll put a link to the Facebook group over there so have a good Easter and I'll be back again in two or three weeks time for more teaching tips if you've got anything in at all that you'd like me to talk about then again do just let me know below all right take care bye for now <laughs>